So uh, welcome everyone. Welcome back for those who have been attending the pitch. Um, this is a session we organize a monthly basis with our climate tech, uh, climate tech uh, coalition. Uh, the Southeast Asia Climate Tech Coalition has been uh, gathering members, uh, investors, uh, conglomerates, and climate tech founders uh, for uh, nearly six months now. We're gathering uh, more than 500 members uh, across uh, several countries uh, that are interested to shape and create the future of climate technology by investing in bankable founders. Uh, so we have more than 270 angel investors and VCs uh, across not only Southeast Asia, but really the whole world that are in our uh, coalition. Some of them are here today. Some of the others are in our Slack group and uh, we're trying to connect the dots basically be between great bankable founders that we came across uh, and uh, investors who are ready to walk the talk uh, no greenwashing just hard hard tech uh, ma mainly b2b uh, climate technology companies so uh today it's an exciting one we, we have some really interesting companies um we'll share with th them with you in a moment but uh just to get started and waiting for everybody to be uh, joining the call, I will share a little bit about what we're doing. So uh, with Atlas Capital, we're one of the early uh, climate tech uh, VC, uh, humble, small. Uh, we've been starting uh, to invest in 2020 uh, and we invested in, 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 in 10 uh, climate tech companies, 12 actually. We've, we've finished our last two investments for first month, our uh, first fund uh, last month. Uh, and our thesis, is very simple. Uh, we believe that we're going from four seasons to two. We believe that it is too late to stop climate change. Uh, and we believe that this is the time for climate adaptation. Uh, so this, this is really much uh, our mandate to support companies that are not just decarbonizing. Decarbonizing is great, but also helping cities and the built environment to adapt to a paradigm of a plus two degree world. Uh, you can see some of the members of our team here, um, but if you want to learn more, of course, you can go to our website and see our advisory board, including our scientific committee. So with, uh, with this mandate, uh, we specifically look at North American companies and European companies that have pilot already proven and some traction, uh, mainly in the industrial hard tech uh, field, B2B. And we, we look to connect them with some of the conglomerates we had the chance to connect with here in Southeast Asia uh, to basically be able to come from the US or Europe and bring their technology through joint ventures uh, and partnership here in the region. Because this is a region that we believe, you know, is, uh, is actually really in need of climate technology innovations. Uh, just to put some numbers into that last sentence, uh, Southeast Asia marks up for more than 20% of the world biodiversity, 10% of the world population, uh, but 1.6% of the total CO2 emission. In the meantime, uh, we have a lot of deforestations happening here. Uh, we have 85% uh, of the energy supply in Southeast Asia coming from non-renewable sources and 60% uh, increase of CO2 emission towards 2040 that are forecasted. So Southeast Asia has high potential for climate action. Tackling environmental issue will not only require money, but really uh, transdisciplinary work across software, hardware, uh, and we believe there's a whole economy, economy to be built here. And we don't have the time to wait for local founders to start from scratch. We see great IPs, great patents, uh, and great uh, innovations in the US and Europe, and we think those could be deployed here in Southeast Asia faster through this kind of model. So the coalition, the South Asia Climate Tech Coalition, um, have been gathering, as I mentioned, more than 500 members uh, just in that Slack group. So it might be hard to connect with uh, investors who understand not just crypto or fintech, and that's why we create this, uh, this support system, or at least we're trying to. Uh, we believe it takes a village to create great companies. Uh, on my side, I had the chance to build, you know, a tech company from scratch as a CEO and made an exit uh, three years ago. 
and it took a village, but it was easy. It was software. So when we talk about climate technology, we talk mainly about hardware. It takes even more resources. And that's why we believe a coalition such as this one uh, is useful. And everyone is welcome to join. Uh, we look forward to have more venture capitalists to join us. We look forward to have more conglomerates to join us. Uh, every month we are bringing different ones uh, as judges, but also uh, being active on our Slack group as well. We had PTT, SCG, uh, for example, from Thailand. We had Vietnam Vin Group, for example. We had Hong Kong New World Group. Uh, some of the largest uh, billionaires uh, are now interested in climate tech, and, and some of them are in our coalition. So looking forward to connect more of the dots here. Uh, we have events running every month, uh, online and offline. We are now part of our monthly uh, virtual uh, climate tech presentation. Uh, we have one in November happening as well and one in December. So for those who haven't got the chance to be accepted to pitch today, don't worry. You can get ready for the next month or the following one. And we'll have different type of judges um, every time. But those pitches are not wasted because those... Uh, will be recorded via video so we can share that uh, with our audience uh, of investors and hopefully some of them will be reaching out through the slack group uh, as uh, we have so many members we start to create a member directory so feel free to you know ask our team members to share with you this directory so you can contact directly some of the members through slack uh and people you know might or might not be responsive but uh, with a little bit of, of help from our team they will they will get connected with you we also host monthly networking dinners for investors only usually we have one billionaire at each dinner uh that is hosting uh and then we have other investors uh joining and we usually invite one or two startup per dinner um, the next one is in hong kong on the 8th uh, of uh, november if i if i'm not wrong uh, sorry, 9th of November, uh, so in two weeks. Uh, and then we will have another one uh, in Singapore uh, in December as well. And lastly, uh, because, you know, to put all of this together, uh, it's the more the merrier. Uh, we host a yearly flagship conference in New York City during the Climate Week. Um, and this is really something I can recommend to anybody because it's just amazing. The Climate Week in New York is probably the greatest climate tech event in the planet. Uh, I just came back from it uh, two, two, three weeks ago. We were hosting this conference. You can see some of the pictures here. Um, and we were just one of the uh, conference among more than 600 other conferences in New York, uh, all for climate with more than 30,000 investors, founders, uh, scientists, policy makers. So this is really something you don't want to miss if you are in the space. Uh, it's eye-opening. Uh, I will even say, to me, it gave me back faith into humanity to see so many people, young and old, uh, to be gathering up to really give our generation and the next one a chance.